Uh, he looked passionate and unscripted. Here to react from yesterday's hearings of social media superstars and Donald Trump supporters, Diamond and Silk. Uh, so, uh, ladies, welcome back. Uh, you saw a, a panel of people, like-minded people, saying how unhinged uh, Brett Kavanaugh was. Man, was he different than he was with Martha McCallum. Did he help himself? He helped himself because he spoke from the heart. That's right. He drew us all in and had us all crying. We felt everything that he felt, and I believe that he should be confirmed. I believe him, and we stand with Brett Kavanaugh. That's who we stand with. Well, ladies, what about Dr. Christine Ford? Because she was first up, uh, and she testified yesterday. She read her statement. It was heartfelt. Uh, and then she was asked a lot of questions about what happened. She didn't have any real new details. And in fact, the, the four people she quoted have in sworn testimony uh, denied that it happened, denied her best friend, uh, denied that she'd even met Brett Kavanaugh. And uh, Ms. Ford had said that she was there that night. What about her testimony, though? Well, though her testimony may have been heartfelt, there was too many holes in That's her right. story, and her story was falling apart. And I'm sorry, I didn't cry with her. I cried with him. I felt his pain. I didn't feel any emotion from her because she couldn't keep her, her stuff together. That's right. Papers was all over the place. She had her lawyers dictating what she should say, what she shouldn't say. I look at all of that. I paid attention to all of that. Yeah. And she didn't draw me in, but he drew us all in. Yeah, but and ladies, we believe him. Ladies, it, it seems like she believes that Brett Kavanaugh assaulted her back in 1982. Okay, but listen. I believe that she was abused, and looking at her from yesterday, looking at her demeanor and her disposition, I believe she was abused probably earlier than 15 years old. But I don't believe that Brett Kavanaugh did this. Right. I don't believe that. Yes. And, and shame on the Democrats for exploiting her and exploiting her story. And if they really cared about Dr. Ford, why didn't they go to the police? Why didn't they go to the so, FBI? Exactly. And, and the one thing that I need to say to all Americans, yesterday it was Kavanaugh. Off. Today, it could be your brother, your son, your father, or your husband. So vote right so you won't get left. Vote Republican. Because the, sh the circus and the charades that the Democrats just pulled, I don't ever want to vote for another Democrat. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting time because it's the Me Too movement. And if you're a man and you're mm -hmm. accused, a lot of people automatically assume that you're guilty unless you can prove your innocence, which is against what the law says. But as a woman, what do you think is really happening then? Because I watched her testimony and I thought, gosh, this is really believable. And I, we all know a lot of women that have been put in situations and it damaged them for you know the rest of their lives. Um, so I, it was very believable. But then you heard from him... And you saw how upset he was, and it was very believable, too. So what do you think the truth is? What do you think was happening? Well, well the truth, first of all, you have to have evidence. Yeah. Kavanaugh had things to substantiate. He kept calendars. Yes. I just couldn't, I was just so taken aback by yes. that. She couldn't keep her story together. That's she right. has no proof. Accusations, allegations without accurate information is merely speculation. That's and right. they so do you think she's lying? Are you saying she you. lied or you, do you think I'm she not just saying that she is lied. not remembering correctly? I'm not saying that she lied. I believe that she was abused somewhere, but it was not by Brett Kavanaugh. That's right. It was not by yeah, him. Yesterday, right. his father, Brett Kavanaugh's father, saved his life. And it was so good to finally see Republicans stand and ban and not gotcha. vote and go cold. It was finally good to see Republicans call out the hypocrisy that's been going on in this country. And we heard from Diamond and we heard from Silk. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank you, ladies.